Hello, I'm Paul Singh. Welcome to News Now. Here's what's making the news this hour. Week two of President Donald Trump's impeachment inquiry commences with a slew of senior national security officials appearing before the Capitol from today. The United Nations urges Hong Kong authorities to de-escalate the situation at the city's Polytechnic University and condemns the protesters for resorting to extreme violence. Talks have broken down between South Korea and the US over the cost of keeping American troops on Korean soil. This after the US requested for a significant increase in costs. A slew of senior national security officials are appearing before the Capitol starting today in week two of the Trump impeachment inquiry. I'm really not in a position to speculate what the motivations were behind the president's decision. Well, well you know, the vice president's done quite a bit of USMCA events, correct? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Their testimonies promises another showdown between Democrats and Republicans as the Intelligence Committee tries to bolster their case for impeachable offenses against President Donald Trump. At the heart of the inquiry is a July 25th call between Mr. Trump and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky and allegations that Mr. Trump had dangled military aid to Ukraine in exchange for an investigation into the Bidens. Today's witnesses, the National Security Council's top Ukraine expert, Army Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vitman, and aide to Vice President Mike Pence and Jennifer Williams. Former U.S. diplomat Kurt Volker and former NSC Russian expert Tim Morrison.